In this video, we're going to look at the Urinary System Lab. And the urinary system is going to consist of two kidneys. We have a kidney here, a kidney here, a renal artery for each kidney, a renal vein for each kidney. The renal artery comes off of the aorta. The renal vein enters into the inferior vena cava. Coming out of the two kidneys is a ureter. And they are going to lead down to the urinary bladder. And in this more simplified kidney, we can see once again the renal artery, the renal vein. The brown here is the renal capsule. The renal cortex is here. Cortex means bark, like the bark of a tree. And so this is the renal cortex. Next we have the renal medulla. And these renal pyramids are found within the renal medulla. Next we're going to look at these openings that the pyramids are going to drain urine into. The first one is the minor calyx. They drain into the major calyx. From the major calyx, it drains into the renal pelvis. And then finally, into the ureter. Now looking at this, a little more detailed model. And as a matter of fact, this model even has a kidney stone. Now again, we're going to have the renal artery and the renal vein. The renal capsule is this brown, and you can see it's kind of peeled away right here, just to show. And again, that surrounds the whole kidney. The renal cortex, again, think of bark of a tree, that's what it means. So right there, this whole area. And then we have the renal medulla, and again, these renal pyramids here are found within the medulla. Once again, we have draining from the renal pyramids into the minor calyx. Next will be the major calyx. And then it'll drain into the renal pelvis. And then the renal ureter. And now we're going to take a little closer look at the pyramids here. So this is one of the pyramids. This is the renal cortex. This is the renal capsule. Okay, and the functional unit of the kidney is called the nephron. And the nephron are these things where you see this little circle and these tubes that uh, kind of dip down and then all attach to this tube here. So let's get into what that is. So the types of nephrons First of all, we have cortical nephrons, and you can see this one here that is mostly up in the cortex. It does dip down into the um, pyramid a bit, the medulla, okay? And again, this is a cortical nephron. And so this one is going to uh, extend kind of deep into the medulla, and we call this a juxtamedullary nephron. So a juxtamedullary nephron. Okay, so cortical nephrons uh, only dip a little bit into the pyramid or the medulla, and the juxtamedullary dip pretty far into the pyramid or medulla. Looking at parts of the nephron, we have the renal corpuscle, and that is right here. And I have a, a more close up model um, that we'll be looking at in a moment, so we'll be able to see those parts a little bit better. But the renal corpuscle is going to be made up of Bowman's capsule. And that's this. You can see Bowman's capsule here a little bit better. But Bowman's capsule. There's going to be a glomerular space or capsular space, I should say. And uh, again, we're going to see that better in another uh, slide. And um, this little ball of capillaries is called the glomerulus. So Bowman's capsule. There's going to be a capsular space 
and then the glomerulus, which is the ball of capillaries. Coming off of that is going to be the proximal convoluted tubule. Next, we have the nephron loop or the loop of Henle. Okay, and it's going to be divided up into a descending limb. So we'd say that's the descending limb of the loop of Henle. As it comes up, it's the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. And then we have a distal convoluted tubule, which then connects into the collecting duct, which is technically not part of the nephron. Okay, but we need to take a look at it because, again, the nephrons all attach to it, where they're going to come down to the bottom here of this pyramid, what's called the renal papilla, and this is where it's going to drain out of. Okay, I mentioned that uh, we have a much more detailed model of this, so let's take a look at that. Here it is. So this is the renal corpuscle. And again, it's going to be made up of this right here. This ball is going to be um, Bowman's capsule. The space within the ball, think of this as like a hollow ball. That's going to be the capsular space. And this ball of capillaries is called the glomerulus. Now, if you notice, surrounding the glomerulus are these cells here that are called podocytes. A pod means foot, site means cell, so these are cells with little feet. And they kind of interlace, like you would interlace your fingers, and there's going to be little spaces in there called filtration slits. Okay, filtration slits. And then coming off of the... Bowman's capsule is going to be the proximal convoluted tubule. And again, the loop of Henle, the descending, ascending limb of the loop of Henle, and then coming back up, we see right here, um, this is going to be part of the uh, ascending limb of the loop of Henle. Now we have what's called the juxtamedullary apparatus. And what makes that up is the Right here, we have an afferent arterial and an efferent arterial. Again, afferent arterial is going toward the glomerulus. Okay. And then that blood leaves through the efferent um, arterial. But right here on the afferent arterial, there's going to be some specialized cells called the juxtamedullary cells. And then in the ascending limb of the loop of Henle and the distal convoluted tubule, which this is part of, um, we're going to have some more specialized cells called the macula densa. Okay, so it's the macula densa. And see how these cells look a little bit smaller than these? Those are the macula densa cells. And again, the distal convoluted tubule. So let's take a look at the bladder. Again, we have the ureters that come down and they come kind of behind the bladder and they're gonna open up into these right here. These are the openings of the ureter, okay? And then you might notice uh, this area here, which kind of has a triangle shape to it. That is going to be the trigone. Now this particular model we see that the ureter then goes through what's representing a prostate gland here. And this is going to be the vas deferens and ductus deferens. So this is going to be a male bladder. The model is a, a male model. So let's take a look at a much more detailed uh, male uh, model here. Okay, and then here's the urinary bladder. And this line right here is going to be the detrusor muscle. And that's going to help you push out urine during urination. And then down here, we have what's called the external urethral sphincter. Now that is skeletal muscle. And so that is under conscious control. Up above here, we have the internal urethral sphincter. And that is going to be smooth muscle and that is involuntary control. So once the bladder 
enlarges and there's pressure on the internal urethral sphincter then that's going to relax and open up um, and then again we have control over the external urethral sphincter and so we're able to consciously open this up uh, to allow for urination. Okay, looking at the male urethra, it's going to be different than the female urethra in that, one, it's longer, but two, it also has three parts to it. The first part is going to be the prostatic urethra. You can see it cutting through. This is the prostate gland here. So it's cutting through there. And again, this is why if a person has um, some type of enlargement of the prostate that it is very difficult to urinate because it is compressing on this part of the urethra okay so again the prostatic urethra next in this area here we have the membranous urethra and then finally the penile or spongy urethra is the rest of it In the female urinary bladder, which is located right here, above it is going to be the uterus. But we also have the detrusor muscle. And an external urethral sphincter is going to be in this area here. You can tell right here and here. This is part of the urogenital diaphragm. And so that's going to have your external urethral sphincter. Again, it's going to be um, skeletal muscle. And then the internal urethral sphincter, which is smooth muscle, is going to be in this area here. And then we have the urethra. And I hope this helps.